Walking in the doors of the Jamestown Civic Center, you're bombarded with handmade posters lining every wall and railing, telling people to vote for Paul or Megan. Inside, students listen to a speaker about what he's overcome in his life. In the audience is 15-year-old Abby Driver from Gwinner, North Dakota. She recently lost her dad after he suffered several heart attacks and a stroke. She says she joined SAD when his health was declining because she was afraid she would turn to alcohol in her grief. She's hoping the SAD conference can continue her healing process. It helps me understand like what maybe some other kids have gone through and if maybe they've had some of the same things that have happened to me. In addition to speakers, the SAD conference also has several workshops where the huge group is broken down so students can have a more personal experience. Teenage boys start to drink alcohol at 11.9 years of age. 17-year-old Rachel Rott of Animus, North Dakota, is leading the Athletes and Alcohol workshop and has some sobering statistics. And I learned that every time that you get drunk as an athlete, you lose up to two weeks of athletic performance. And that's a lot of work and a lot of loss for one night of partying. According to Princeton University, alcohol affects reaction time, balance, coordination, strength, power, speed, and the list goes on. That message is something 17-year-old Danny Weiss says she already feels. The Hazen, North Dakota teenager plays volleyball, basketball, softball, and track. She says she wants to set a good example for her teammates. That helps me make better decisions. You know, you have a big game and you want to go out and celebrate that you won and stuff, but then it's like, oh, I need to be there for my team and I don't want to risk our winning season. I don't want to be the downfall of my team. Jacob Sommerfeld of Bismarck wants to take the message from his school to the whole state. Remember the signs saying vote for Paul or Megan? Well, he has signs as well. Jacob wants to be on the state SAD student advisory board. And I kind of want to reach out to other people and make sure that they understand the consequences of how important one destructive decision can be. He says he's been pressured before to drink from teammates, but has found a way to say no that works for him. I tell them straight up, I'll respect you if you respect me, because that, that seems to work out for me pretty well. I try to convince them a little bit, sway them towards the other way, but it doesn't always happen. For teenagers who haven't found their way to say no, that's one of the things the SAD conference teaches, and not necessarily in a keynote address or workshop but rather just teens talking with each other. For High Risk High and Prairie Public, I'm Candace Thornburg.